Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to start working on this custom Harley wheel. And, um, well, the wheel is really pitted. The owner doesn't know what happened. Uh, we don't think he drove through anything because the bike is not nasty. Um, and and this, these, this pitting, uh, there were some drips there, which I'll show you. And I've done a couple test, test spots to see what I've got to do to remove uh, the pitting from this aluminum it's coming off. It's not easy work. It is messy and very dirty uh, When you go polishing bare aluminum you get this black residue everywhere um, and earlier in Well the 2020 detailing season I mentioned that I was coming out with a brand new metal polish and while that is definitely true the metal polish is actually worked into the new polishes so no need for a new metal polish per se because the new smart cut and smart finish for the one system are fantastic on bare metal as well as chrome cream would be from the motorcycle lineup so anyway without further ado here's the custom harley and i've already started working on some stuff but this is the nasty pitting And it's literally all over the wheel. And I've done some test spots. See how nasty that is? I've done some test spots. Uh, that was one of the test spots right here in this area. And then here. I also did over there a little bit. It's not done. I just did some testing to see what we're going to have to work with. But... I also did a little testing right there. Notice this backside is not done. I'm going to show you what I did to uh, get this result. And I'm going to continue on working on this bad boy. Um, it's a bike I've done a couple times, but let me show you what's going on here. Okay, so we've got a little progress left. I'm still testing to see what works the best. So on... So I detail a lot of boats, and that's really the only time I use a uh, rotary polisher. And uh, I had a Flex PE14, but it died. I wasn't using the proper size um, extension cord. Uh, you need a 12.3, I believe, is the size you need, and no more than 50 foot. So anyway, I burned up the um, the whatever the speed control electronic speed control deal is so i've been i bought a couple of these max shine rotaries they're the size of the pe14 they are not the quality of the pe14 or um the same to use this thing is much more raw i mean it's 140 dollars on amazon versus almost 450 dollars for the flex so you're going to get uh, a little less. It totally works though. Um, the electronic speed controller is not as crisp and precise as the PE14, but for 140 bucks, if that bad boy breaks, A, I have another one, and B, it was 140 bucks, um, not 450 bucks. So I bought this extension right here that basically turns your rotary into a Dremel tool. The only problem is it doesn't like to grab on properly up here. So it was another 80 or 100 bucks that I had to test it out, but it's junk. Um, it did come with all of these pads and stuff, which are pretty cool. Uh, I came with that little case. Uh, those, those. And that kind of thing. So I'm just going to disregard that completely. And uh, have gone with my Dremel. I've been using the Dremel 3000. Nothing fancy. Totally works well. And these fit in here. This grabs better. And uh, allows this to spin faster. Which means you're getting more work out of it. Which is pretty cool. So with all that pitting. I'm just doing some testing. I've been using a combination of a few things. I have the 2021 Heavy Cut uh, with the smart abrasives, uh, smart tempered abrasives, and then I have the new uh, 2021 Smart Finish. 
and I have infinite cut and I have the new sanding polish that's going to the marine line that's like sanding with 500 grit sandpaper but you're polishing so that's the cut ability with it um, it does not finish amazing but it finishes amazing when you follow it with a finishing polish like the gel coat finishing polish or even uh, the new smart uh, final final finish that works well after the sanding polish as well. So the sanding polish is gonna go in the Marine Series. The reason I'm not using the sanding polish right now is because it was leaving uh, too many scratches that I didn't want to have to remove in this soft bare aluminum. So I went with uh, Infinite Cut and then I thought, oh my gosh, why don't I use the brand new polishes? So I went and grabbed those. I do not have labels yet. Uh, for any of those polishes, but I obviously have the infinite cut label so when it comes to polishes and when it comes to Metal polish and whatever we decided not to go with a de dedicated metal, metal polish because those two work so well on metal uh, That that will be how they will be marketed as a paint and metal polish. They also work fantastic on gel coat um, so um working on this wheel you can see that that section looks okay uh, it's not finished yet i've also done this section here for the most part still got a little bit of oxidation to get, or not oxidation a little bit of pitting to get off that but again this is the test and trial uh period I'm trying to see what works and then i'll be rocking and rolling on the detail but i'm using the dremel with these uh little cone shaped polishing deals uh, and it's working pretty good. So if I take the new, let's see, you can see the pitting right there and in there. If I take the new metal polish, or I'm sorry, if I take the new smart cut and put a little there, take my Dremel, kind of wipe it in a little bit, get that from that side. Okay, so let's turn it on. And basically let the polish and the pad do all the work. Just moving it around a little bit is all I'm really doing. You take it in the corners here. Works great for these corners. I don't have to stick my finger in there. Super awesome. See all that black nasty mess? That's the oxidation and the aluminum coming off. You want to keep your speed relatively low for this because all you're trying to do is knock that pitting off. You don't want to cut into the aluminum too much. You need more polish. But I just wanted to show you that. And so now I'll get a towel out. I'll wipe off this residue and hopefully reveal some good looking bare aluminum that doesn't have all that pitting on it um this is the first step so what i'm doing now is i'm cutting oxidation away cutting the pitting away and that kind of thing and then after that i'll be using the smart finish by hand you can see just in that compounding session that the pitting's all gone. I gotta get some shit out of that corner. But the pitting's all gone. Remember how that top piece looked and it looks really nice now? Also in there, pitting's all gone. Uh, after that, I'll be using the new Smart. Um, smart Finish is probably what this is gonna be called. 
But as far as that goes, just to demonstrate that, we're going to get a whole lot better finish. See what it looks like now. Let's take our corner of our towel. I feel like this is the best brush that you can get is the corner of a microfiber towel. It's amazing. Just the things you can do with a microfiber towel. Um, I could absolutely be using a small like two inch pad to stick in here or even a foam applicator would work really well. It has a little bit of mechanical ability, not a ton, but uh, the whole point to this whole exercise here is to show you that the new polishes work amazing on bare metal. No need for a dedicated metal polish, which is what the one system is about. It's about having less products that do more work. You'll find that on DetailJuice.com, um, we are going back to our roots and we are getting rid of everything on the site except for the one system, which has been completely evolutionized. Evolutionized, I don't even know if that's a word. I know revolutionized is a word. Anyway, it's been, uh, it has evolved quite a bit from uh, this, tw the 2021 or the 2020 detailing season. Um, things are better. Um, we have improved upon pretty much everything, and uh, you're going to be able to detail better than ever with uh, fewer products. So the uh, one system officially has nine products in it. Um, they won't all be used every detail. Um, well, really, if you count the new Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with Triple Tech, and the brand new seven year super seven coating. Uh, there's 11 products in the one system, but those two coating products are only if you don't want to use the ultra endurance max coat and the universal coating that's already in the one system uh, as a two year coating in the, by themselves. So you have that option. So anyway, I have just done a one handed little polishing job I will probably try to make that even better, but you see how fantastic it looks compared to how it did before I messed with it. But those are the re results we're trying to get, and uh, with this Dremel and the brand new polishes, I'm able to achieve exactly what I'm looking to do. So I showed you how I'm doing it, and so after I'm done compounding, polishing, and uh, getting it basically back to glossy, I'm going to use the new um, smart finish is what it's going to be called. Um, I'm going to polish all the black paint on the wheel, and then I'll be wiping everything down. Oh, the whole wheel is a 32-inch wheel on a, a custom Harley. So I'm going to be polishing everything, wiping it down with Universal Clean and Prep, and then I'll be applying the brand new Super 7 coating on the wheel. So, see what it looks like now? All that nasty pitting. I mean, this is it's pretty nasty stuff. It's heavy duty. It's really in there. It's everywhere. It is just everywhere. So I've got my work cut out for me, but you can see that my polishes and this Dremel are working amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. I just wanted to show you guys what was up with this thing and what it looks like right now. All right, back on this 32-inch wheel. All my crap all over the place. So as you've already seen, I'm working on all this pitting and it's worse in some areas than it is in other areas and some areas I'm having to use 3000 grit sandpaper to remove the pitting you can see all this crap in here um, and other areas I'm not so I've, this is pretty much done I still got to coat everything but see how nice that looks so I've already showed you basically how I'm cleaning it up, but it's time to get more done. So that's what I'm here to do. So it's going to end up looking like that all the way around, hopefully. So back to work. All right, guys, this damn thing is finally done. I'll tell you what, you can tell from here that that wheel looks amazing. 
But uh, if you guys have been with me from the beginning of this video, which uh, I've got about seven hours total in just this wheel. I mean, it's it's been a lot. But notice, no pitting. It's all machined, so it's not supposed to be gleaming like chrome. But it does have a very nice shine to it. I hand polished all the machined parts, like on the spokes, obviously on the back side of this wheel, around the wheel, all that stuff. Um, I hand polished the hub, all the black paint. Um, I then applied Super 7, which is the 2021 seven year ceramic, acrylic, and graphene coating. Uh, so the wheel has that. The bike, I actually did my five-year coating uh, not too long ago to it, so it's well protected. But that was what the detail was on, is that wheel. And you can see it looks phenomenal now. So, so anyway, um, uh, in addition to that wheel, I went ahead and just gave the whole thing a bath. So... It's all nice and clean, looking awesome. So that's that. All right, so uh, that's it. Sorry, trying to get you in a place of decent light without burning my eyeballs out anyway let me see what we can do. oh there we go much better a little shade anyway so that custom harley wheel was a real pain in the butt but it was a solid challenge and i always love a great challenge um it it helps me to keep my skills at the absolute top level and that's what my customers call me for they they call me when they want the absolute best possible at a fair price. So that's what I do. But if you need something detailed, 813-846-4406. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we only talk about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. We'll talk a lot about this wheel and that kind of thing. When I post everything in there, people start to ask questions. You can really learn a lot from my group. Uh, Send us a request. We'll get you in there learning. If you want to be a part of something bigger than detailing, that's where you need to be. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me babble. I know you've got other things to do, but uh, clicking on my videos, subscribing to the channel, uh, hitting the bell notification uh, just to get notifications so that uh, you know when I'm posting new videos, um, which has been quite a bit. I mean, I usually post a couple of videos a week or more, depending on the week. Um, but if you have a video you'd like for me to shoot, if you'd just like to see how I do something, if you're, you know, if you've seen how everybody else on the internet, uh, does it, and you'd just like to see my variation of that task, uh, let me know. Leave it in the com comments below or reach out directly. Or like I said before, you can get in my group and, uh, ask in there. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.